going somewhere for singles. Uh, hey, yeah, um, yeah, I was just gonna step out and run an errand real quick. I'll be right back. I'm afraid you're gonna have to run your errands on your own personal time. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Come again? I understand that in my absence, this place has become a bit of a revolving door with employees coming and going during business hours. Now that I'm back, that's going to change. Yo, what's good, everybody? And thank you for tuning in to another Tyler Perry Sisters Review. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning family member, then you already know what it is and what it always will be. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell somebody to tell somebody if you choose to. If not, just sit back, relax while we get into this messy yet humorous thing. While you're here on the clock, I need you in your office working on Benson Jones and Leland business. Is that clear? Crystal. Good. Glad we understand each other. Go back to work. Now, this was by far one of my favorite moments of the episode. And it's the audacity that Fatima has for me. Not only is Robin her boss, he's Andy's boss. And he's also a founding partner and he owns majority shares of the law firm. She tells that man, that HNIC, that she's about to go run an errand and she'll be right back. <laughs> I said, baby girl, in what world? In what world is this okay or acceptable? I was so happy that Robin got her together. He didn't disrespect her, but he kindly spoke to her like one should speak to their subordinate. Andy has done Fatima an injustice, if you ask me. I know y'all didn't, but I'm going to tell you how I feel anyway. Andy has allowed Fatima to come and go as she please. They have too many homegirl moments for me while on the clock. And I have said this several times. Now, there is nothing wrong with Andy and Fatima being friends, but there is a major issue when neither can separate the two while at work. Now, in the professional sector, Andy treats Fatima as her equal, and she is not. She is Andy's assistant, her subordinate, and there is nothing wrong with that or nothing um, disrespectful about that term. That just is what it is. Now, what really, what really tripped me out was Fatima being taken aback by Robin's response as if she was appalled or didn't quite understand his stance. I'm like, sis, you understood that man quite well. It's just the fact that Fatima isn't accustomed to people holding her accountable to her responsibilities. Yep, I said what needed to be said. Now, this is one of the major reasons why Andy and Fatima make a horrible professional team. They need to choose. Either be friends or colleagues because it's apparent that they can't do both. Now, the episode when Andy told Fatima that she was mad at her professor for giving her a D as if Fatima didn't earn that grade. It furthermore solidified how awful of a friend and mentor Andy is to Fatima. Because if anyone who takes pride in their friends being successful and accomplishing their dreams and goals would not be cool with the fact that they are failing, especially law school. And I don't know about y'all, if you ever had a mentor or somebody who was pouring into you, they would not be okay with you just skating by. They may tell you that, you know, you may have too many distractions. You know, you may not be giving it your all. What's causing you not to give more of an effort to your studies? These are just certain things that a mentor would ask or someone who genuinely has a concern in you being successful and not just somebody who's just trying to kiss your ass or to not find themselves on your bad side. And that's the vibe I get from Andy. And you know, quiet is kept. If Fatima and Hayden could really get through whatever their issue is, he probably really could be a good mentor for her in a professional setting. Because let's not forget, when we were first introduced to Hayden, Hayden and Fatima were friends. And in this episode, she tells Hayden, you know, you're just a tax attorney. As if she can do it. But we're not going to go there. And that's not the argument that I'm making. But I'm like, if he's just a tax attorney and you don't have any respect for what he does, then why is it in the second season of Sisters, you got Hayden to help Andy with her problems as it pertains to Gary? Mm -hmm. I know y'all remember that. And if you don't, I just, you know, hopefully I jogged your memory. And so 
I'm really curious if Fatima is going to lose her job or if her and Robin are going to have a little tension in the workplace because a Fatima is not accustomed to truly having somebody to supervise what she's supposed to be doing while on the clock Two, she is accustomed to having a lenient response to a lot of her responsibilities while on the clock she's accustomed to having Zach come in and drop by the law firm as if it's his job like that's a whole nother situation in itself but I am so interested to see what's going to happen between Fatima and Robin because I sense that there is going to be an issue there even the the way that Fatima spoke to him and told him that she was going to run her errand she spoke to him as if he was her friend as if he was her equal. And it's going to be interesting. Because like I said, we don't really see anybody on this show holding Fatima accountable. Everybody except Karen is supposed to act like they are afraid of her in some way. And so watching this, I am curious if her job is at stake. And how Andy is probably going to come in and save the day. But I don't want to speak, you know, too, uh, too soon. But I do think Fatima's job is at stake and so we're just gonna see that play out but like I said this was by far one of my most favorite moments of the episode simply because we are seeing what is supposed to happen and Fatima looked at Robin as if work what is that oh oh I'm getting oh that's what I'm supposed to do oh I'm actually supposed to do work while being here now people can say what they want to say about Hayden yes Hayden is annoying yes Hayden could get on our nerves yes Hayden could be a nuisance but we don't never see Hayden just coming and going as he pleases he actually does work for those who don't want to believe that but that's that's for y'all Andy and Fatima that's a whole nother story but now since baby girl got to work <laughs> we gonna see what happened <laughs> I want to thank you guys uh for listening and also like on a whole nother tip, I have read some of the comments that have been going on on social media. A lot of people who were once happy that Robin was back gracing our presence, you know, gracing our TVs with his presence, are now upset because they feel like he shouldn't have talked to Fatima like that. Who does he, who does he think he is to speak to her in that manner? And my question is, why do so many people believe that Fatima is exempt? That is the one thing I never understood about her character. I I can understand people liking her and Fatima being their favorite and all of that, but it 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 it's mind boggling that people feel like she should not be held accountable, that she should go to work and not do anything. That's wild to me. <laughs> like the people are literally trying to stone Robin, fine ass Robin, trying to stone him. For actually acting like a supervisor is supposed to. But I believe people have grown so accustomed to Fatima and Andy's personal relationship superseding their professional relationship that it was a shock to hear somebody speak to Fatima the way she should have been spoken to. And I'm going to leave it at that. But I want to thank you guys for listening. Um, until next time, I will holler at y'all later. And y'all be safe out there. One.